My name is Kareem Carmi. I work at Shapeways. I run the marketing team there, and we're a 3D printing marketplace in the community. It means that anyone can gain access to 3D printing without having a printer at home. So we bring access to kind of these really high-end industrial machines, and people can send us their designs, their files, um, and we'll print them for them. And they can also sell them to anyone in the world just using our production. When I started, you know. We had, I actually can't even remember how many materials we had, but now we have over 30, um, and we're launching materials on a monthly basis. So we have everything from metals and plastics, ceramics, um, nylons that are really great for um, really kind of everything. This is actually a 3D printed tag in nylon, um, and you can also make something like uh, these panels back here. So various materials that are actually really well suited for different properties and products. So we're starting to see a lot of metals come to the market. Um, so right now we actually have gold-plated brass. So you can see the skull here. We have really high detail. Um, and that's just today. I think in the future we're going to start to see mixed materials, electronics, 3D printing, kind of conductive materials as well. Um, and you know, right now the limitation of the technology is how many products in your life are just made out of one material. So because you can't do mixed materials yet, um, we do need to do some post-production. Uh, but while, you know, probably in the next year we'll see products that are fully assembled and mixed materials coming out of the printers. One of the biggest hurdles that we have today is that when you're designing products, you actually have to think about the material you're going to end up using because materials have different properties, of course. Um, and I think as the software gets better, we'll start to be able to design for material and that will really unlock the possibilities because right now someone could submit a design, um, order it in nylon and think it'll look the same in metal and you know we have different rules and kind of gravity works in different ways depending on the material. Um, so it's, it's something that you know the software needs to kind of get smarter to give us that real-time feedback you know what are you designing for, what is the physical properties you need um, and we're starting to see that Autodesk is making a lot of investments there today as well. Some people are printing electrical parts in uh, research institutions today. It hasn't yet hit the mainstream, but I, I'm sure it'll happen in the next couple of years. I, I wouldn't imagine that's too far off. There's a lot of research going on in electronics, so at minimum you can make conductive materials, which is really interesting. Where we fit in is we try to take you know what's happening in the best research institutions or you know in industrial settings and try to make it available for consumers as well.